Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is interview number two with actor Martin Clubba. In this interview, Martin talks about his dream role, what his favorite role so far has been. You might be a little surprised what that role is. Also, he talks about uh, what it was like growing up as a kid, being a little person, and he talks about his favorite charity, Coda. So these are your questions for him, and here's his answers. Enjoy. Uh, this is from the Coda fan page. Uh, Ted, and I, Faith, I believe his last name is. I apologize, Ted, if I said it wrong. Uh, we'll start with the first question. What uh, is your favorite role so far? Oh, what is my favorite role? My favorite role would have to be Rolo. Uh, uh, when we did the television series, the game. Um, uh, you have to be a badass, which I always like being a badass, as you can tell. Um, but I didn't say that to And Marty and Pirate. Or Randall and Scrub. One of those three, but I would have to say probably Rolo. And plus, Rolo had the best wardrobe. Yeah, I was just gonna say the wardrobe I was roll for the cape was awesome. Yeah, every like, Monday, I was like, "What is he gonna wear?" Yeah, and I'm like, I look forward to every week. Like, and what you got to keep some of it. Yeah, I did keep some. Some of, it. of the jackets and stuff. Jacket. Jacket is my favorite. Leather pants. Yeah. Ch chaps. Yeah. Leather chaps. <laughs> she wants me to cut the butt out, but I. <laughs> no prints. I haven't got there yet. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be able to carry my wallet. Save that for an anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he also asks, um, what is your dream role? Wow, my dream role. I would love to be in a, um, a, a love story film where I got to be the leading man who falls in love and has like a lot of sex scenes. And um, that would be kind of cool. Otherwise, um, one of the projects that I have waiting is a, is a uh, project called Apollo Thorn, which is about a vampire slayer who happens to be a little person. So if I could ever get that funded, yeah, that would be the, probably the most amazing thing. That'd be awesome. Or Trillin from um, Dragon Ball Z. Would be kind of cool. Or um, I think Peter Dinklage is going to do it, but... Um, Puck from uh, Alpha Flight. Oh, that'd be so, awesome. Yeah. Um, all right, so this is coming from the CODA Coalition for Dwarf Advocacy page. This is Leanne. Uh, Leanne asks, what are some of the challenges uh, parents face when raising an infant or child who is a dwarf? Uh, that's a great question. I don't, I'm not, um, both of my children are average size. Um, so I don't, I, I really don't know what it's like to, to raise a dwarf, but being a dwarf, um, I know the things that I went through as far as, you know, growing up or not growing, um, but you know, the average everyday things, you know, in the house, getting to certain things in the cupboards or, uh, things that most people take for granted, whether it be, you know, getting in and out of the bathtub or, um, or the toilet or even brushing your teeth at the sink and, you know, getting a glass of um, water. One of the other things I would say would be, yeah, you know, like um, uh, being a male dwarf um, growing up and, and not realizing until later on that, hey, I, I wouldn't be able to be, you know, play in the NFL or play in the Major League Baseball or basketball team because obviously my height is going to prohibit me. Whether, no matter how good I was, um, you know, society still, uh, you know, would hold you back. Mm -hmm. in some sense so um, I understand too I mean you know hurt, one of the one you know. piece of advice I would give uh, to parents whether they're raising a little person or an average sized person um, or you know dwarf parents raising an average sized kid don't ever try to limit them you know tell them to go for everything you know as long as it's not you know something that's gonna harm somebody else or, or commit a crime but you know if they, if they got a dream you know push them to, to go for whatever it is that they they aspire to do. Beautiful. Uh, Le Leanne also asks, um, how does CODA help parents overcome those challenges? 
of raising a little person? Well, um, we're, we're a new charity. We're, we've been around for a couple of years. Um, you know, we have a lot of awareness that we, we try to uh, put out there, like coming to our basketball games and seeing you know, a team full of little guys play against a bunch of average sized guys. is showing that, you know, uh, his child can grow up to do anything he wants to do. Um, at the same time, um, my main thing is about getting dwarf children adopted. So, uh, you know, we try to get uh, raise funds to help get kids from around the world uh, into, you know, families that are looking to adopt, uh, especially dwarf children. So that was interview two. Stay tuned for interview three, where one of the Facebook fans asks about uh, season two for Martin's TV show, The Cape. Also, they talk about it being a new dad and growing up at Troy Athens High School. So, stay tuned.